Hi everybody, it's Building Inspector aka Oki and I'm on the Antonia Bell server. I am in a tenebrous um, island house on the South Kino side. The owner is Terriel, T-E-R-I-A-L, and it's Terriel's Furniture Emporium. It is on the Hall of Fame, but since the name of the house and the house owner start with a T, I was scared to just look there. So I've already voted in the house. Um, Lyra has asked me to do this video, and I guess not all the furniture could fit in this one house. So I, w um, I was told there was a second house, um, and it's named, I think, the same thing, but part two. So I will be doing both videos and posting them in the same um, posting on the forums. Anyway, here we go. Um, there's lots of sales crates in this house. So if you need furniture on AB, you might want to come here and look um, to buy and to look at the different options that are available. So um, this is an exit sign. Thank you for shopping. And then this one is altars. So let's take a look. Although there's a bed in here, but maybe it got put in here because of ritual um anyway looks like um there's decorative and imbued um altars in here and crafted not sure if there's any other kinds in here but um if you'd like to see what they look like, please come here. Yeah, it looks like there's three different ones. So the imbued, crafted, and decorative. Very cool. Okay. Employees only. Well, that's not going to stop me. It's just a sign. Lots of crafting stations in here, Frostfield stations. And look at all the new plants that give rares. That's a lot. All nine. Guildhall door. And looks like... Oh, that's just the, the portal when you actually come in. Wait, but there's this. I am confused. Maybe there's a Freeport one that's, oh, um, because this is, oh, it's two R's instead of one R. Okay, so part two is Terriel's with two R's. All right, well, I'll go, I'll come back to that as soon as I get done, so I don't have to find it on the Hall of Fame. But now you know where, where to go to easily get to the part two. All right. Art, painting, paintings, sculptures, and statues. It looks like there's a few extra things in here. A horseshoe. A dream catcher. And a charm. Some of them, the well... This one can be crafted, so I'm not... I think this is just a crafted furniture house. Look at all the statues. Yeah, I think this house is just crafted stuff. I'm sorry about my voice. <clears throat> Very nice. Um, I think all these ones are from the um, apprentices, and there's different colors because there's there's a regular apprentice, uh, an elite apprentice, and a raid apprentice. And these are just the elite raid recipes from those apprentices.
Lots of goodies. It would be really cool if the paintings weren't on the wall. So you could walk behind them and see what the backs look like. And you could also then see if you can walk through them. But it's cool that you can see everything and see if you're missing stuff. Beds. Look at all the beds. Look up the bed rolls and canvases too. I wish they would add all the colors of bed rolls because there's like lots more colors. There's a red one, uh, including mats and stuff. There, there's one in each of the cities, so there's tons of colors. Lots and lots of beds. I'm really sad because this bed um, looked a little bit different in beta. And now it's not quite as cool. I mean, it's still a lovely bed, but I liked what it looked like before they changed it. I'm not sure why they changed it. All right. Let's see here. So I'll just keep going back, going on one on each side. Books, bookcases, and maps. And I know I read that out of order. <laughs> oh, look at all the player-made books that you can write in. And Lyra's site is changed, so it's a lot easier to find these two parchments and this scroll. And because um, they're not... They don't have notebook in the name, so it's kind of hard to find them. In your recipe book, I mean. It'd be nice if they just added notebook to that, just so people like me who can't remember the names of stuff can find them easily. I guess I never noticed the side of this. Isn't that pretty? That would make a cool thing. Just use that piece of it. Some trim work or something. The new bookcases. There is three different versions of this with books on it. Um, that you can get off the broker. I don't know exactly where you get them from. So you can put them on the broker, but check the broker lots and lots of bookcases and this isn't even all bookcases this is just crafted ones I think this one's my favorite because you can use it for so many different things if you like sink it or just use the back of it because that's a pretty wood color oh maps too okay building blocks and columns I, I don't know. I, I see a rat playing here. Oh. It's not really a column. I'm teasing. Okay, so I hope, I hope they add the new building blocks that have the holes in them to all the crafted sets. Cross fingers.
Oh, the columns are there. I'm like, where's the columns? These are um, really cool tiles that you can get if you do the quest line in um, Eastern Wastelands. Um, you help uh, someone in this one zone and then they sell the recipe book, which is, I think, heirloom, for one copper. So you can get all of your um, um, characters, the, the recipe book. So, if you want to know what they're called. Oops. So, Valonite or Talonite. Tile or paving stone or tile. So, this is um, from the recipe book that you get if you do the collector's edition or the premium edition that was back the last expansion um you would get this recipe book if you bought the newest expansion premium or um collector's edition you get this building block set and it, it is the city of mist ones and they're really cool both sets and when you make them you get four of each item, which is really cool. And and they don't use rares. It's regular mats for that tier for the expansion. This set and this set, the um, granite and sandstone <coughs> is a recipe book that you um, could get from doing a quest um, for the, the, the prequel um, series or quest line or whatever for, um, um, the Altar of Malice, I think. The last expansion. Um, if you didn't get it, I think you can do the PQs and get the, these metal things to buy the recipe book off the merchant. Um, it, the merchant is in Nariak and Chife. And some people are, have been really nice and give, given away the recipe books for those, so... Tinkered stuff, Frostfeld stuff. And Erilisi Day stuff. I would love it if they, they came up with more colors like pink and like red red, not, you know, um, dark red like bright red, normal red color, yellows, oranges, that, that would be really cool. Okay, what else do we got? Counters. Lots and lots of counters. This one's cool because you could use it for trim. Well, a lot of these we could use as trim. There's a <clears throat> a similar counter that's rounded like this, and it's in the um um the lounge when they do guide events and stuff. They have parties, and you can go in the lounge. There's one that's um medieval looking like counter, and it's really cool. I wish they would add that one to our crafting book. The latest counter that we've gotten from this expansion. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Don't have to worry. I thought the system was coming down because of it. Okay, let's see here. Curtains and screens. I would so love it if the devs would give us this um, curtain set that open and closes. 
in all the fabrics that they use for the um, marketplace items because this is one one of the fabrics but there's different colors there's a, a dark red one and there's like a cherry blossom one um there's all kinds of different fabrics that they have on the 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 daybreak actual house items it would be awesome and if they added other ones like all these colors from the holidays so we have you know this as this and this and then um I, I saw that Jerry is going to be adding some new curtains to the marketplace as well so they're more they're more flat they don't I don't think they will open and close but nice screen this is an aerialist day screen that's really new be really cool if they made these guys in the same colors that are on the curtains. That would, I, I'm just greedy, I know. Let's see here. Doors and windows. It'd be nice if they added an oval one of all of the windows. Since we have one for Airless -y day. Maybe even a circle one. But since we're getting tiles with ovals, it would be nice if all the sets had oval ones. Very cool. This is a new um, door that we got for this expansion. All these windows are new. Wouldn't it be really cool if we got doors that match these stained glass windows? I know. Giving the devs lots and lots of ideas, aren't I? I'm surprised we can't craft the other shapes, but I guess they're in the marketplace, aren't they? Anyway. I, I don't think these ones come in a square, even on Marketplace. Dressers and cabinets. feels like we don't have as many dressers and cabinets for all the tiers, but that could just be me. <laughs> and the second floor. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Eggs, globes, minerals, and scales. So these are new snow globes within the last year or so. Frostville one, Aerialysis Day, Brew Day, Bristlebane Day, um, Tinkerfest. You know, we don't have a Night of the Dead one. Wouldn't it be cool to have like one with like um, bats and spiders crawling on them or bugs or... Um, what else could I think of? Like, uh, just a like plain foggy one, but it has like a black base or something. I don't know. Ghosts flying in there, <laughs> and one what one that people wouldn't want is one that had a zombie that would pop up in the middle of the thing randomly. <laughs> it scared the crap out of people. <laughs> I know I'm cruel. Mucus egg. Is that just 
Yeah, the name is horrible. Because it sounds so gross. I didn't know we could make black eggs. Uh -huh. We got a gold um, hourglass now that I think is, is it craft? No, it was a uh, uh, crown of portals item. Be cool if we could get scales in different colors, like a, a gold one to match and a, a like more gray one that matches this hourglass. Okay, what's on this side? Fabric and mannequins. Very cool. I wish we could get mannequins for the other races, you know, not just human and frog walk, because we have so many different races. Very cool. Because, you know, like t Rotongas and is uh, Ixar and, uh, you know, the other ones, they're, the Sarnax, their heads are different shaped. So it would be cool to be able to display what, like, the helmets and stuff, the hoods and everything look on them. Just an idea. Being greedy again. Fireplaces. Look at all the fireplaces. Again, this is just crafted stuff. What's in this one? Fencing and cages. Cool. You know, there's, um, there's a cage that has like one of these hanging, but it's all metal and it's like a big stand thing that's holding it on the end. And it's in, um, one of the rum, uh, the, um, phantoms, phantom sea, uh, zones, um, like rum runner. No, it's not rum runner, but it's a pirate themed one. I would love to have that. And there's all kinds of cool items. Like there's this green glass um, sconce. That would be really cool. And there's like a really cool end table and table and chairs and like a, a, a cabinet. And they're really cool looking. I, I love them. And there's also like a painting of a pirate. I want all of that stuff. Oh, and there's also a globe. And I think a different um, quill. Um, I've feedbacked that many times. Every time we've gone in there. All right. Food, drinks, and kitchen. Now, th these two items are actually crafted by a provisioner, not a carpenter. And there is actually um, some display weapons that the weaponsmith can craft that are house items so i bet you will see them in either this house or the next one look at all the bottles so there is a test tube set a bunch of different ones in this one zone off of um uh fens um it starts with an N, and there's got little mini goblins in there, um, and we got a whole bunch of, of the furniture from that zone um, with this expansion. But there's a test tube rack that it has different colors, like bubbles coming out of them. And sometimes they have like three different colors. I want those for Night of the Dead. I hope we get more tea sets. I like a tinkered one. It would be so cute. A little gear on top. Cog, whatever. Lots and lots of mugs. Tea 
didn't we just recently get like a, a black pot? I wonder with, when this was published. It, I mean, it has this expansion stuff, so. It's very new, but. For some reason, I thought there was more pots. Oh, here we go. It just doesn't have liquid in it. The new cakes. I can't wait until we get a purple one like this, and a blue one, and a red one, and a yellow one, and an orange one, and a black one. <laughs> I could keep going. <laughs> Lots of goodies. Okay. I think you can kind of see everything from where I've been. All right, let's move on. Okay. Fountains and pools. I wish they would go back and fix it so we can see these in the um, dressing room along with this fountain and these fountains. I think we can see these other ones though. Should we find out? Yeah, we can see these ones. Just be nice. I'm not sure why we can't see these ones. They're not much different. I mean, yeah, this one bubbles and steams, but it doesn't have to show that part. Okay. Went to that one. Okay. Lighting. Oh boy. This is going to lag out. Maybe. Well, maybe for other people, but I think I'm good. Look at all the candles. This, I've seen this used as a table. I think flipped upside down so the fire's going into the ground. It looks really good. You know, I would really love it if for um, like Heroes Festival, since you can like do the the repeatable quest to get the little mugs, the gold ones and the red ones, if they would add the shot glasses, there's those colors of shot glasses in the um, unrest house, or not the unrest house, the actual zone um, unrest, and there's wall sconces with I think there's a yellow one and a red, a red one and even a green one in there. It would be really cool if we could get those. And there's like bottles of those colors. I don't think we have all the colors. Um, I've, I've feedbacked it quite a few times actually. Because it'd be cool to get more than just 
the actual chalice. Look at all the lights. So this um, light, there is a chandelier that kind of matches all of, you know, the zone that you find this one in. There's a, a red chandelier, a chandelier with red candles, and I really want that. Air Lizzie's Day. That, I think, is the most feedbacked item <laughs> from me, anyway. I think there's even a sconce, but it's we can't craft it. It would be cool to have the the sconce of this guy. And just so you know, I know it doesn't give off light really, but you can actually sink a candle that does inside it that will give off light. Or maybe raise is a better word than sink. All right, let's see here. I think people can see all the options. So I'm gonna go to the next one. Frostfeld, the bestest holiday in all of Norath. Okay, it, it must definitely be a Lyra alt house. <laughs> So, wouldn't it be cool to have more holiday gift cards that we could write in besides, well, the Ariel Lissy Day ones are on the marketplace, but if we had like Brew Day and Bristleblading Day and um, Night of the Dead, Heroes Festival even, just so we have more options. be really cool if um, it was something like it has a, a picture frame that's a little generic even Tinkerfest and then um, inside is like a picture of each of the you know there's one for each of the races wouldn't that be cool like one female one male of e each race I know if it was up to me, there would be like 50 million zillion different <laughs> items. Look at all the gingerbread men. I love the new stuff, the newer stockings. We don't really have a stocking that matches um, the wreath set that is the, the cool mint, or cool, I think it's cool mint, but it's blue um, color. Wouldn't that be cool? Something that matches that. It's just an idea. Yeah, this, you know, this color. A white and, and cool mint, or whatever they call it. Well, this one doesn't use the same thing. Could call it regal. And this teal color, wouldn't that be cool? Like a stocking that basically looks like this box with the color scheme, so it has snowflakes on it. And I mean, I guess the screen matches this pretty box, but yeah. Okay. There's a lot of stuff we can craft. Wasn't there like 96 items we could craft from the new expansion alone? Can't remember now. Oh, wait. Did I go the wrong direction? Yes, I did. Okay. Sorry about that. 
mirrors. So these mirrors look almost identical. Maybe they are identical, but this is the polished mirror. Um, they changed the AA mirror to be a mirror of forgiveness. And then we also have the polished mirror. That doesn't do anything, but. And let's see here, music and games. Now, there is a wooden version of this in Rivervale. What? It's, you can find it near this musical instrument in the zone. Some of the different little houses in Rivervale. I think we definitely need one that's wood color. We can craft this. Oh, I think you have to have the lawn recipe to be able to craft that. And I think that is everything. Oh, wait. Oh, the third floor. Okay. So I'm guessing it looks like this house, except there's, it's a, can call the third floor. Okay. So I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to start back up so that I can do part two. See you in the next video. Thanks guys.